Hi, I'm Niall, I'm 26 and from Marfels. My name's Jason, I'm 20 and I'm from Cookstown. My name's Connor Donnelly, I'm from Cooperstown and I'm 23. Hi, I'm Cahill, I'm 24 and I'm from Marfelt. Hi, I'm Daniel, I'm 23 and I'm from Desert Martin. Hello, I'm Thomas, I'm 23 and I'm from Mahara. Hi, I'm Carl, I'm 24 and I'm from Marfelt. Um, actually, no, I haven't done podcasting, so this is actually my first time doing a podcast. I was interviewing Cahill about was it like to start out as a DJ in the creative industries? Getting into the studio, editing and recording it and all was really, it was fantastic. Learning how to record your dialogue and ed- edit it into the software format. Giving me a good push to continue doing it myself. I enjoyed the, the DJ on the I Am course. And sort of how to sort of mix different genres of music together. And I'm counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four in my head. Got like, you know, an insight in how to sort of set out like a sort of a, a mix of, you know, music. I think I've learned a lot so far from it. Uh, the songwriting workshop was a great experience. You know, I always wanted to know about the songwriting process. But I like the editing, but I sort of stopped seeing how everything pieced together. Now you give us some uh, tips and tricks of the three to sort of calm the nerves. If it wasn't a group project, it wouldn't have came out the way it did, I don't think. It's always something I've wanted to do was to make music. Good as crack. Yeah, I wouldn't mind giving songwriting another chance. I've had a wee bit of experience with, you know, like taking photos and seeing the amount of work that goes into it sort of amplified the interest. How to phrase the motion of light. Use shadows correctly. What's great to experience that. Yeah, I would like to continue doing some sort of photography. Well, ideally, I'd like to do it as a career. This course helps me learn art skills. Uh, we went for a day out till we are about to go. We did like a team building exercise where Joe was up on the high ropes and he was blindfolded. And one person in the group had to go along like an obstacle thing where they walk across beams. Bouncing on trampolines, man, it was it, it was exhilarating, man. Got a bit of exercise that I don't really do too much of. We also did the, uh, you know, the you know the hoops, the basketball hoops I did. You know, I was trying to do like a Kobe Bryant impersonation. Get a wee bit of a routine and just go somewhere else see new things, experience new stuff. On the sound and audio part of the project, we got two local uh, artists in. What I did was set up the microphones and the, the baffles for the acoustic players to play in. And so we done the live recording and then we brought it into the studio where we added the piece together. Just meeting these new music- musicians and just having a crack with them and seeing what songs come out of them. I found the career coaching very beneficial um, for building CVs and uh, structuring a like, you know, cover letter and the interview techniques. Uh, it was a good, good experience for me and I have a CD right now uh, for any job I want to get now. I enjoyed the pottery because it was just basically a new experience. Again, it's, it's, it was another way of being creative. His, Stephen's art, work of art is Magnificent. You have to work quickly and uh, accurately. It's actually interesting using the different sort of clay that he used, and uh, it was actually pretty interesting to do. And from asking him questions, got an insight to what it would be like to do poverty as a job. Uh, money management is where we had to figure out what we were spending and how we were spending it. My concept was if I get money, I'm buying my dinner <laughs> until I realized I've been spending like uh, 30 or 40 pounds each week on on those kind of things so it was beneficial uh, to me because I still have money in my pocket. Claymation part was uh, not, I definitely found that exciting. I really enjoyed the stop motion like that. We had to create our own uh, little models. I made a, we made a space plan and uh, a wrestler. Just take pictures of it as many as possible. Um, animation is definitely something that uh, interests me. It was I, I found it amazing the way it's to find out how it actually worked. I really really enjoyed that. The PS and I came in and talked to us about uh, internet safety. Basically, I underestimated. I, I, I thought I knew a lot about internet safety, but clearly there's more to it. And as for social media, like like YouTube or something, like that, you better be careful what you uh, do, because you might have someone watching watching you. You know, ch- chatting to strangers over the internet using Skype and stuff. It's just really important that you stay safe. And- you have to protect yourself. They give real life stories, which really um, at home and. Again, like I said, it's good to talk about things rather than bottle them up because that could lead to more, um, to, to even bigger problems. Always be safe, never be a boy on the internet, and be careful what you do. Like a like guy's of a hawk. Oh, we went to uh, Todd's Leap for residential. Just a bunch of friends going to the place where all these activities were. Yeah, you had, uh, one was blindfolded and the rest of the group had to tell you your directions or where to go. 
I suppose there was a bit of a, a trust exercise there. In my, in my group anyway, I turned out to be the strongest. And also, I was the strongest at that bungee cord run, not my half. I was a, a great laugh. Uh, my legs were like tree trunks, you know. Everybody was waving their hands in the air like they just don't care. Do I get to know the rest of the group a bit better? It was a wake up call for to do more exercise as well. Oh, well, that like hell, I can't record it. Me get a bad exercise, don't I? <laughs> Rock me here, no. <laughs> Great experience, just seeing new sights. Everyone's dead for nine. Even though I can hear snoring in my sleep, first time staying overnight away from home. My favorite part of the art and drawing was uh, the sketches. You had to picture in your mind to draw on now. Ever since then, I'm still drawing in those art pads. Well, actually, I'm on my fifth one, to be honest. <laughs> to release your mind from all the negative energy, just let it all out. <sighs> if you're uh, feeling angry or stressed or just need to clear your mind from really bad things, man. I mean, he was like a yoga, he was like a, a guru, basically. Releasing all the negative energy. And to be honest, I like to do more of that math lesson because that's what fills the mind. Namaste. Making the film was good fun. We all had good laughs. We did have to take a lot more time in sort of setting up the shots to really make them look professional with the darker lighting to match the sort of tone of the story. Operating the camera, um, operating the lighting, helping to set up the sets and the scenery. Everyone has a role in some shots, so it took a lot of patience. Getting the camera in the right position to film, plus watching it, we don't fall with the camera down the hill into the river. It, it, it did require a, like, a, like, a, like a number of takes, like, you know, each one to really see it, how far you could go with the character. We try to build character empathy by having a character who uh, has mental health difficulties, but manages to find a way through them. Uh, this person was isolated all his life, and only now he's getting socialized with this uh, other person. A survivalist story, so that would really like sort of be a metaphor for the, you know, how to get through it. You know, just ha having an image for the, the film and putting that image on camera was, was pretty enjoyable. I did enjoy the fact that we had more of a darker tone to it, so it wasn't like, you know, just sort of meandering and a sort of, you know, incoherent sort of comedy. This is sort of more of a a message to it, like, you know, from beginning to end, you've got, like, you know, real, you know, character development, that's what I really liked about it. A good story that sort of, you know, like, really engages you and sort of engages the whole group and it sort of energizes everyone. I've enjoyed pretty much the whole project. I really am, I've, like, learned uh, different backgrounds of, like, people come from different cultures and whatnot. I've enjoyed them a lot so far. Sort of just did better for people that have different cultures than me. It's nice to meet other people. I've come to accept different people from different backgrounds. I've enjoyed getting out and meeting new people and trying new things. I uh, helped a couple of people uh, and myself get past the uh, uh, loneliness and depression. It has been a great help to my uh, confidence. It has boosted my confidence. It's been great to meet new people and I've definitely gained some lifetime friends through it. I feel like the corn store is a safe place go to. And it's improved my confidence because um, I would never have talked with a big group. I had a bit of the mental illness obviously and through that I am they've actually gave me courses that actually I can understand what, what it is and how to identify what I have. Um, the I Am Project as, as I say has improved my social skills. So I'd say uh, socially it'd be, it has improved drastically. S stuff in particular with the podcasting and filming really helped my confidence. You know, I used to never come out of the house and now since through the I Am I've had to get a bit further. You know, if it didn't have this, I would just sit around the house doing nothing. And yes, it, it has helped determination because I feel more ambitious whenever I'm doing something like it. This is something I like doing. And now I, I do, I do explain that. I have more, I explain a lot more things in front of my groups, you know. So it's brought, it's brought part of that sort of shyness away from that day, you know. Communication, uh, meeting people. It actually indeed, indeed improved my communication and emotional skill it helped me massively emotionally as my mum hasn't been well so I've been kind of stressed at home so to get to come to the course here it's really helped me I suppose get a break from everything. It's helped uh, tremendously with just you know being you're comfortable talking to people and you know, listening to others and understanding like where their emotions are coming from. Fun experience as well and I love taking part in it.